Sometimes you start an investigation thinking you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. And once you get started, you're not sure what you found. There's definitely a little girl here, but she does not seem to be alone. morning after our conversations with Hannah and Humphrey in room 33, Val and I met up with Megan who had just arrived at the hotel. We headed to the hotel front desk to see what we could find out about Hannah and interview the staff. This is Hannah Copeland. She was born in 1912, um, died in 1919, age of seven of consumption, which is today would be tuberculosis. Um, she, I uh, believe, stayed in the original home of the two sisters who built the lodge, which is cabin 33, our raven. Um, she was the groundskeeper's daughter. She would have been seven years old. Okay. All right. Um, what are some of the stories that you've heard about? Uh, one guest um, in Cottage 28, which is actually above the original home. This would be Cottage 33, 28 was up here. I had a lady who was going to stay here for four days. She checked in the night before with her little son, who's like four years old. She came in in the morning and she was absolutely petrified. She says, I'm, she goes, she goes, I just cannot stay here. She goes, I, I go to bed every night and I am one of those people who have to untuck my sheets all the way around. She you know, has to have her feet. Free. She said she woke up mummified four times completely tucked in all the way around and she goes and I know it wasn't my four-year-old coming upstairs and like tucking mommy in she goes it was four times she goes I just can't do it she's just like I'm just scared I cannot do it so she left that was one of the stories um, that I you know personally heard do you have anything you'd like to well I do the photography here <laughs> I've had door slam uh, stuff like that can you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Jason Parr. I work here at the restaurant, Saddleback Grill. Um, I'm also a photographer as well. I've also had experiences in 33 and the stuff around the property. Door slam. Um, we've seen stuff here in the restaurant. Um, I've smoked cologne, stuff like that, in rooms. So it's other... Other spirits, not just Hannah. Yeah, just, yeah, it's just not Hannah. Okay. Was I believe. But uh, they've had experiences at 7 Eleven, because that used to be our pool here. Oh, really? Yes. Back in the day. <laughs> so we've had, they've had stuff happen over there candy flying off the shelves. Wow. So it's very yeah, interesting. interesting. Well, you're tall. Hold on. <laughs> this is going to be hard. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Uh, my name's Ryan. I bartend here. We've had experiences where the wine bottles have <coughs> kind of fallen off the shelf. And our wine rack doors open and wine bottles are kind of... They fly ran, up? Randomly come, up, come flying out. The doors open. So really odd. So Hannah doesn't like people drinking wine. <laughs> <laughs> Not white wine, out. <laughs> I, think, I think red wine she's good with, but... I agree, I yeah. agree. White wine, not so much. <laughs> Number 33, and the first time we ever stayed in there, and, and the one that had the day bed, 
that's where we had the experience. They, we left a stuffed animal. She literally turned the stuffed animal and shoved it into the bed in the cushion. And she left her handprints and footprints all over the bedspread. That afternoon we played tourist and visited Lake Arrowhead Village and the lake. While we were there, Val picked up a Raggedy Ann doll at a local toy store, hoping to use it as a trigger object at the cabin. When we returned to the cabin, Val sat down with the doll in the spirit box. Hi Hannah, are you here? We got the same things we had last night when we were speaking with you. This box, remember, if you come close to it, you can make the lights light up. Two light, one light more for no and two for yes. And this one, if you speak, it'll come through here and I can actually hear your voice. Got you a little Raggedy Ann doll. Do you like her? We're just going to use the voice box. This way you can just talk to me. Are you in here with me right now? Was that you, Hannah? You know my name? You said hi, Valerie. Is that Hannah speaking to me or is it someone else? speaking with right now? Can you tell me your name again? How many spirits are here right now? Valerie received no further responses during this session. We decided to have dinner at the hotel restaurant. We will interview a few more patrons and return to the cabin to prepare for tonight's investigation at the restaurant and bar. Okay, go ahead. I'm Jerry Parr, and my son works here at the Saddleback, and we've stayed over at 33, you know, and it's, it's amazing with her. The little girl, Hannah. Can we ask you to speak maybe just a little louder with the music? Yeah. I'm sorry. But she's, uh... A uh, little rambunctious, I heard, and things that got on there. And I spent, we spent the night, my husband and I, with my daughter and her husband. And my daughter put the little stuffed animal up on the bed. Now this was on the trundle bed. Yeah, the trundle bed. And she got up the next morning and I heard, oh my gosh. And that, the, the doll was, the, the little stuffed bear, or whatever it was, was tossed over. And then the second night I stayed there, my toothbrush, I was looking for my toothbrush, I couldn't find it. It was in the trash. Now was this in the upstairs? Downstairs, in the master bedroom, the master bath. And when they left, they left me in the room by myself, because they had to go back to the car place. All I heard was footsteps going across, running across the top. Upstairs. So she plays and she runs plays, around. She plays and runs around. Yeah. 
Now, have you ever heard? Um, we've heard of that she goes into other cabins at t other times. I think she does. Yes, I do. Yes. Yeah, well, so she comes in here and she fiddles, she fiddles with uh, the computers. I'm Ashley and. Lake House, Arizona, but we come up here to stay in Lake Arrowhead with my parents once in a while, and I stayed in Hannah's apartment. But a couple last, times. A couple times. Oh, yeah. Last time we were here, we got those stuffed animal on her little day bed. But the next morning, we woke up like five in the morning, and the little toy was just turned around. She had little footprints and stuff like the uh, ruffles on the bed was all messed up. So, and then when we left, we said he had like. Put stuff on the floor, kind of. Yeah, stairs, stairs right? yeah. Yeah. But she's, you know, she's been very. Everything has been going well so far. Nothing too exciting. We got some responses on the spirit box. A very good EVP on the camera. But nothing really exciting. This is all about to change. <coughs> Sorry about all the coughing, but my sinuses have gone south, and Are you we're recording? looking, and we're looking for a doll that has gone missing. <coughs> you look behind the fan, Meg. Yeah, or it's, it's not in there, Mom. And uh, I did wasn't paying attention when I came in. Look I in the refrigerator. <coughs> look upstairs. You looked in our bedroom and all the drawers and everything? I, I didn't look in all the drawers. Just talking about this I swear. room. They were just telling us that this is the room. Okay. So is I'm serious. So I, is somebody messing with us? Somebody. I didn't do it. Listen to my heart. <clears throat> oh my god, <laughs> Kevin! <laughs> I opened the door and it was sitting right there, and I had a heart attack. Feel mine. Okay. All right. Um. All right. That's creepy and so cool. 